In this dog training video, we're going to teach your dog how to spin. So stay tuned. Let me tell you a story about the baddest dog that ever was. Sneaking food from the fridge, tearing up the garbage. He's a goofy old Dexter the dog. He's a bad, bad Dexter the dog. The baddest part that there ever was. Seat stealing all day long. Howling like a junkyard dog. Teaching your dog to spin is another trick that's fun and it's also good for stretching that body. But we want to remember that spinning is spinning. Just like you are to twirl around in a circle. They're going to get dizzy. So you want to make sure that you're not doing too many at once and too fast. The other thing is I personally really like using things like carpet or grass, especially if they pick up any speed because you don't want your dog slipping. So spinning for most dogs can happen pretty quickly. Most dogs are pretty eager and learn this trick fairly fast. However, some are a little slower and that's okay. Remember, we're all going to learn things at our own pace and you just keep plugging along, telling them how smart they are, even if they barely turn their heads. Remember, it's positive and fun. So you're going to want, want to teach them that every step along the way is so much fun so that they are eager beavers to keep learning new behaviors like Dexter here. He's like, let's get the show on the road. So let's go ahead and teach our dogs how to spin. So when we're thinking about teaching our dogs to spin, we want to make sure that they are four feet on the floor and, and making contact. So we don't want to take our treat and lure too high. So we want to keep it at nose level <laughs> and you're slowly going to make a nice big circle. So don't make it tight at first. So you're going to go here and a big circle around. Try not to hover over your dog because they can get nervous. To their nose and a big circle around and then yes at the end. So to their nose, big circle around and yes at the end. If they're struggling with that, you can do partials. So you take your food to the nose and halfway, yes. We want them to be in a stand, so you want to make sure you lure them to the stand and then halfway, yes. And then pretty soon, you'll be able to go further around, yes, before yesing and treating. The other thing you can do is you can take yourself in that circle and your dog on the outside. So food to his nose, and we're going to go in a circle this way. Yes! Because your dog's body is still doing the same, <laughs> is still doing the same motion. Once your dog is doing the spin pretty easily and it's not a struggle, then you want to go ahead and attach your word. So we want to use our words and our cues and our gestures after the dog's performing the task that we want. So I'm going to add my word first. So it would go spin and then my gesture and then yes and treat. Just because I've decided spin is my word, my dog doesn't know it yet. I need to add that word then the gesture. Spin. Yes. So over time you're going to lessen the gesture. Spin, spin, yes! The other thing you can teach is the other way. So you can have another word that says twirl and they go the opposite direction. So let's go ahead and check in with my dog training students and see how they're doing. Okay, spin. So if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching the dogs learn how to do their spins, please give them a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of upcoming videos. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, do check out my Patreon page. The link is below. Until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life. And we'll see you in the next video.
Thank you.